Derp. All right. Hello, YouTube. This will be my first video. Um, I'm going to start a little let, Let's Play series for City Skylines. Um, I've played it a little bit. I'm no architect guru or anything of the sorts, but I do have a little bit of an idea what I'm doing here. Um, for those of you don't, that don't know about this game, it is a new city builder uh, similar to the SimCity series. Uh, I've been gaming for quite a while, so this isn't my first rodeo. We're going to go ahead and start this so I don't get off talking too much. Um, click New Game. Now, the way this works is down here it's going to show you your suitable area for building, which there's 74% area that you can build on on this map, and that's just in the starting area. Um, you start off in one one tile, uh, and you can prog progress as you go through the game to buy more tiles. There's nine that you can end up buying in total, and uh, that leaves you with quite a bit of space. And uh, back to what the uh, suitable area means is 74% of the starting area is going to be land, while the other 26% will be water. That ends up being quite significant, but the things that you really want to pay attention to when picking a starting area is the outside connections. Um, some of these, let me see, like this one here. This one's marked out. It has no shipping connections. That means it has no access to an ocean entrance, meaning you're not going to be able to ship your goods using a boat, which becomes quite significant, especially as your traffic problems progress, because the more you build, the more that you're going to run into just just shitty traffic um and having that ship having that shipping connection is pretty crucial to keeping the traffic down to as minimum as possible now i'm just going to go ahead and start on green plains because it's just a basic starting area with quite a bit of land to build and all the connections are open i'm going to go ahead and start this up and by the way um if my microphone is sounding pretty rough it's because it is pretty rough I plan on purchasing a new one but that is when I have the funds to do so this microphone's really been through the ringer it's been stepped on a time or two um what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're gonna pause we're gonna pause the game itself so that we can go ahead and start start building it gives you your little your little greeting here hello hello reminds me of a uh, of Zelda. Good old Zelda. The little fairy in Ocarina of Time. I forget what her name is, but she follows you around constantly, constantly bleeping you with the hello. Now, as you see, the starting area is pretty basic, especially on this map. Just one little river. Um, and you have your, of course, interstate connection here which is right on the edge of the map. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of. It's right on the edge of your block that you start with, but we'll have to make do. Now, the way I think the most efficient way to start this is at first you're only gonna have the, have, have the option of the two lane road here, but to unlock further options, literally all you have to do is place down one road. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this. Well, and this is going to be coming off of our highway, giving you a two-way place for these people. Because you're going to have a lot of traffic, as, as senseless as it is, that just literally enters right here, makes a U-turn, and leaves. Why they do this, I do not know. Um, but that's going to prevent a lot of just overflow of traffic. And it's going to go ahead and unlock a couple more options. You have your four-way, four-lane four lane road there. Your, of course, six-lane entrance which I'm ha I've been tempted in the past to go ahead and just start with a six lane because eventually you're going to want to upgrade these roads to pretty much guaranteed six lane because your traffic is just going to be so overflowed. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start with a two lane coming in. Now it does have a nice little snap feature which is going to give you a pretty straight line out of your, out of your area here. Now I take it out to an e even amount of blocks, that way I can place my second road directly over from this. 
Um, we're gonna try to make the most. No, we're gonna try to get it equal here. That was terrible. That was absolutely horrible. Let's see. This is gonna be right along the second two blocks in here is where this is going to be even and running back straight into that now we have our entrance and exit roads now this is very basic I mean you just want to I try to keep it as even as I can now the more you build of course the more it's going to get a little little abstract but I try to try to keep it in order for the most part the chirper is one thing that I do not enjoy about this game it's a little tweet thing that's gonna pop up with all your citizens as they decide they want to speak more um, now what you're gonna want to start with is just a simple residential area now where exactly I want to build this I don't know if I want to I think I might make the residential more down towards this area leaving my industrial zone because your industrial zone is going to produce money and jobs but it's also going to produce pollution and sound pollution which your residential area and your commercial areas do not want it want any part of so like like I said I'm gonna go ahead and do I want to connect this into a four lane yeah I think I'll try to do that so we'll go ahead and four lane this on out. This is going to be our main road into town. Bring it over this way. Because like I said, it starts you on the very edge of your box. So you're going to have to build over in this direction a little bit. Now you're going to want to keep an eye on your starting money. Actually, we'll take this over a couple more blocks. You're going to keep want to keep an eye out on your starting money because that's going to go very quickly, especially as you start adding plumbing and everything else to the city. Now... We're gonna have to connect this. Now this is finicky sometimes. It likes to be a real pain. But uh, probably also doesn't help that I'm on the four lane. Now, uh, I try to make it look as aesthetically pleasing as possible, but like I said, it's awful finicky sometimes. It looks like this is gonna be the only only way I can do it, just to give it a little, little curve out there, but it is what it is. It doesn't look too bad, and it's going to give them a connection back out of the city, which is going to be needed. Now, we'll start building. I think I'm going to build some some uh, houses right here, actually. Try to keep it close to the water source over there. Bring this down. Let's see. We'll bring this down one block here. Pop this up one more if I can. Um, it's not giving me... See, the snap feature will progress this on down. We're going to bring it in one block from this because I did pop that out one more extra block. Now you want it to keep take, take advantage of most spaces you can. If you keep it four blocks take it eight blocks up on this road that's going to give you the four block space dividing here see there's no gap in between the places where you're going to be able to place uh, commercial residential area zoning we'll go ahead and just connect that all the way over I think I'm going to do one more right here and I'm going to give in the middle of this another another option for them to get out Okay, and now we'll go ahead and zone just, I'm just going to zone the inner blocks here with residential. Oh, accidentally right clicked there. And then we'll zone this outside edge. Actually, we don't need that much because your commercial is really only going to be need to be take up as about, as about as much space as one eighth of the residential because commercial takes up much less to fill the need than residential does. Now we're going to switch to the paint tool here so we can kind of get a idea here. I think I'm going to leave it at that for right now until the demand starts to rise a little further. And now we're going to need to go ahead and 
get a water hook up. Now you want to keep an eye out when you do your water hooking up on the flow of the river or the uh, body of water that you're hooking up to. You're going to want to keep your pure water that you're going to be feeding into the town upstream from the output where the sewage is going to run out. So we're going to place this here and we're going to place our output sewage drain down here at the bottom. So that's going to just pour on out down this stream under that bridge and out of the city. Now you're going to want to go ahead and connect these like so and then you're going to want to have coverage. I'm going to just take from right here bring this down to there. Now this might not be the most efficient way of doing this but it's the cheapest for me right now because you, like I said you're going to want to conserve money especially at the start of this game. Now that gives us the maximum amount of coverage with the least amount of piping for this little area. Now once we get electricity flowing to this zone, which is what we're going to do now. Now the wind tur turbines, actually that played, that panned out pretty poorly for me, to be honest here. Because all my most steady wind is going to be right here in the middle of my town. But we can play, we can manage around this. I really don't want to build a coal power plant at the very start here because it costs 19,000 and has quite an upkeep for this early stage of the game. But that's okay. I think that's what the route we're going to go ahead and take. To be honest here, uh, I'll progress this road on down into my commercial area or my industrial area, and we will put our coal power plant right here I believe will be good so I'm put it on the outskirts of the area um, we're gonna take these power lines go ahead and connect here now when you're connecting the electricity that blue zone around your buildings and around your pumps and just around everything the blue zone is where you're gonna be live for electricity now this means that if I were to build a building right here it's gonna zone into the blue zone giving it electricity too which you can carry on because every little building is going to have its little zone of electricity that it proceeds to the next so if i were to build buildings all along this line they're going to gradually pick up this electricity and carry it on down meaning i won't have to have power lines run anywhere through here now this power line is connecting the power plant to this water pump and then i'm going to go ahead and take this next power line over to the other water space already occupied Oh, I'm running it through my my water. Take that there. Now that's all connected. What we're going to do now is we're going to let this run, actually. Now I'm going to get it out of this electricity view here. Now all these views over here, this is going to show, of course, your electricity the zoning, the usage. See, right now in my city, of course, is consuming zero megawatts because there's no buildings with electricity running. Um, the production we have is 40 coming from our power plant. That's gonna show that that view. Once this starts getting down to the yellow and especially in the red, the red means you're consuming more than you're producing. You're gonna wanna build another source of electricity at that point. This shows your water. Um, in the early, early portions of the game, Especially, I'm not saying this isn't connected, not operating. Now that I think that I believe it's not operating because we have no sewage being produced at the moment. We're going to let that run for a moment. Now we're going to need to connect this to electricity. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and pause this again. I'm going to zone this area back here for residential as well. That's going to give me the option, hold on, I'll show you in just a moment. Now that's going to give me the option to run power lines from this area down to this. And we're going to go ahead and do that before we <laughs> run out of money, honestly. Like I said, in this early stage of the game, money is going to become detrimental and you're going to run out of it quickly. But you will make it back as you build buildings. You want to get this up in the green as quickly as possible, your weekly income. But in the early stages of the game, you're not going to be able to do that simply because 
without residence being built or having residence, you're just gonna have no tax income or no form of income whatsoever. Now I'm gonna unpause this and let it run. I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Now these people are gonna be disgruntled of having no water at the moment, but or no electricity at the moment, but as soon as this fires up, see, that building went up, increasing my electricity active zone here. And now all of these residents have electricity. So they're gonna be happy. Now you're gonna notice <coughs> quite quickly, we're gonna run into our weekly income drop, dropping back down to the green. It's gonna take a moment, but as our population, which is kind of skyrocketing right now, because we're building all these new, new homes, as our population goes up, it's also going to go up for us. Now you see our needs down here. This, the green bar here would be your residential demand for the city. Blue is of course commercial, which I should have some going up right through here on the line that I built. And like I said, see, you'll see that's balancing out with just minimal amount of buildings because it doesn't take near as much to counter your residential. Now industrial is gonna go up very quickly. Um, what I'm gonna do, just while I have no money, while we're living the broke life, I'm gonna throw some industrial down right here beside this power plant. Just to, basically the, the name of the game at this point in time is getting this back in the green. We need our weekly income back to, back to the positives. Because without money, I mean, you're not gonna be able to build roads, you're not gonna be able to build anything. So, we're gonna go ahead and build those industrials then they're going to need water connection, which is effing unfortunate because I have no money to build pipes at this point in time. See, we didn't really calculate for that. That was a poor, poor mistake on my part. And we can't take loans at this stage in the game because you have to have, for the first milestone, which is going to unlock loans, you're going to need 500 population, which we'll quit, hit that pretty quickly. And the good thing about hitting the milestones is every time you hit the milestones, it gives you additional money down here. Oh, me, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, but as you hit the milestones, it's going to give you money down here. Just a little boost. We'll use that to build pipes to this. See there? That put us unlocked loans, taxes, garbage healthcare education. Now, as these services unlock, that's when the demand for these services is going to become become available, meaning that, okay, now we have garbage unlocked. These places are going to start producing garbage, and you're going to have to take care of that with the uh, the landfill here. Same thing with healthcare education. Um, we're going to go ahead and X out of that. Now, we got our little bump from, from reaching that milestone. We're going to go ahead and pop some more pipes out. Now we're gonna to try to do this as efficiently as possible. It's the same concept as the grid. You're gonna to wanna to keep it with as little space in between here with while taking up as much space with the zone here. Just to be the most efficient with your money at this point in time. It's a very inconvenient place for that water notification there. I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this. Of course it's gonna bring it back up, derp. Click that down, and now we'll run this pipe here. That's gonna provide water to these industrial zones, which are having a hard time. Now, everybody in the city is gonna be pretty content at this point in time. Our city's gonna run functionally pretty well here. And you'll notice we're back up in the positives for weekly income, which is gonna help quite a bit and that's gonna skyrocket now the name of the game at this stage in the game really is just to keep as your needs go up the demand for the, the zoning goes up just meet those demands by producing and building more areas for that see my industrial here uh, it's going up substantially more than my other two now, I don't want to just keep proceeding this industrial down this same line because eventually it's going to run into my residential, which I really don't want to do. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is build a road coming out over here. And we're going to take this industrial zone probably along this river line here, really, which is going to lead to me not needing the uh, power lines too, which will work out pretty well. Okay. 
Okay, we'll take this. No, one more block. Take this out. We're just gonna grid, grid everything out at this point. It becomes efficient. Later on, it's gonna not really cause problems, but it's gonna create a little more traffic problem, but you just kind of take care of that as it goes. Connect these here. Now see, that gives me more room for industrial. And like I said, at this point, you don't really worry about aesthetics as much as just taking care of the needs that you're presented with. We'll go ahead and pop some industrial down. We'll just do it along this line right here. I'm just gonna try to take up as minimal space as possible while still meeting the needs of my demand down here. Now, I'm gonna speed this up. And you'll see the buildings. When the demand's high, the buildings will come up relatively quickly. With lower demand, it's not gonna come up nearly as fast. Um, our demand for commercial is actually going up a little bit too, but we'll just progress this on down the main line here. This is gonna be my, pretty much my center of commercial. Probably proceed, proceed to put it down this line too when I need to and take it down here as well. I'll end up connecting, I'll probably put a fire station, police station stuff right in here, commercial all the way up to this point and try to connect the industrial with my commercial slash residential. I'll try to connect that through just plain buildings, just plot buildings like the fire station and stuff like that. Oh, see, they're already complaining about the garbage pickup. I kind of forgot. Now this is going to produce a lot of pollution as well. You'll probably want to put it over in near the industrial zone, but still close enough to everything. Still close enough to everything that it's going to reach. Now the green, the green lines on the roads here, that's the area that it's going to cover. Now see, if I place it here, it's out of pollution zone of all these air, the, all these houses and stuff, but it also reaches them all with the garbage trucks. Now you'll see these little purple trucks here. These are the garbage trucks. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this view, make it a little more, a little, a little prettier here. Got my garbage trucks rolling through the cities. You'll see the little garbage figures disappear as they make their stops. And we have already reached worthy village we are now a worthy village what that means is we have new sir even more no, new services the fire department police department and unique buildings now the specializations are kind of interesting you can take an area if it has good land for agriculture and turn it into an agriculture industrial zone now what the agriculture zone is going to do is it's not going to produce near as much pollution same with forestry they're not going to produce near as much pollution as the just standard industrial zones um let's see now we can put policies on our water power water and power usage which is going to cost more per house or per building we're going to have to pay an additional five five currency for per building there but it's also going to take down the usage of electricity. See, moderately reduced electricity consumption, meaning that we're going to need less facilities to produce electricity while we're going to pay more, basically, per building. Same with the water usage. The smoke, de smoke detector is pretty useful. Um, it's the same cost per building as the power and water usage ban. Or, but what it's going to do is it's going to significantly reduce the risk of fire. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. You'll need less fire departments for your city, but you're also, that, that five currency per building is really gonna add up quickly. And you'll notice it on the income. It'll take a huge chunk out of that every time you try to place one of those, one of those policies. But sometimes it's necessary, you know. Now, we're gonna just go ahead and X out of that. The city is expanding once again. See, these little tweets. I've already collected quite a bit of them. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to throw down, throw down some necessity buildings here. Uh, I usually prioritize healthcare and fire safety over the police department because your crime isn't going to start rising for a little bit especially while your city is so compacted and small like this now i'm going to want to put my fire department close enough to my industrial because your industrial will catch on fire much more than your commercial and residential put it about right here it still covers everything oh they're all so happy 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 
Um, and it's not being reached by electricity. I didn't really plan on that one as much, but that's gonna be a simple fix. We'll just take this down here. Actually, it is being reached, so I just wasted that, but we can get the refund here. Now, everything's going pretty smoothly. Um, go ahead and build some more commercial. The demand on it's going up. Then our residential is going to start going up again. Now, what I'm going to do with my residential is I'm probably going to proceed out with this road here. Leave my commercial on this little 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 main four lane here. Proceed my residential out in another two lane. Actually, I'll take this four lane all the way out to down in this area. Have this all being residential slash commercial and then just keep my my pattern of industrial along this line and we'll just keep doing that basically just expanding as the needs arise until we fill most of this zone up and then we'll proceed uh i don't really know exactly which way we're going to go with it yet but we'll we'll do that as the time comes All right, I'm gonna go ahead and build my road. Take this. Did I do a one? Okay, I thought I did a one way there for a second. I had a brief panic moment. Take this on down. Now it's gonna destroy that commercial building, but we're not overly worried about that. Takes it down a little further. We'll just keep blocking it on out, gridding it. The grid, especially in the early stages of the game, it's just going to be the easiest way to make use of the most space as you, as you can while still keeping traffic kind of controlled. Not enough money. Well, that's just not good. Oh, I need to speed up time again. City policies. These are another little annoying facet of the game. It's just going to keep pinging this until you take a look at it. Okay, I have policies. Thank you, game. I would not have known that without you. Now, our residential is, of course, of course, skyrocketing. Our beautiful little city is starting to boom. Now, it's going to cost 3120 to proceed out with this road. We'll just, I think we'll just take it out there for right now. Oh, they're so unhappy that we built a road behind them. It's okay, though. Um, we'll just take this from this corner here. Plop some more residential down behind all my beautiful commercial buildings. And take the commercial on down to the end of the road there. See, we already have a fire. But luckily, our boys in red are on the job. Alright, so the demand should start. Oh, I gotta proceed out with my water as well. We'll just go ahead and take this all the way to the bottom. Well, not all the way, but enough to where we're going to be able to cover all this as we go. The more we do now, is the less we do later, basically, is how this goes. Okay, go ahead and shoot that down. And as you progress, one thing I do like to try to keep an eye on is, as I build, I want to keep them in the zone of the electricity, so it just kind of flows out as I keep building. Just makes it more simple, less power, power lines to run, because eventually what you're going to want to do is just really not have any power lines. Now you want to keep an eye on your electricity consumption. See, we're already up to 26 megawatts of 40, meaning that just in this little amount of building, we've already almost taken up the capacity of this coal power plant. Power plants just really aren't my favorite things to use, but like I said, we they kind of inconveniently placed the zone for real good wind speed right here <laughs> which is where you'd want to build your wind turbines but it's also directly in the center of your zone of your little block here which is kind of crappy because you're going to want to make use of the most amount of space as you can especially at the start of this game and all that space is right where my wind speed is Bloop. now see it's going to keep pinging me about this my crime rate's only at 32 percent which is still kind of high but it's not just out of control yet everything's still kind of in the green and we'll build that of course as we have the money as you can see it costs 12,000 we have 8,000 and we're still needing to build roads and such to make up for our demands now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to keep my commercial just along my four lane here to help as much as I can with traffic so I'm gonna take 
my residential on this road. Just feel it on in down through here, leaving my four block space for commercial. We really do need to build a police department. They are starting to complain now. Probably just throw that down over here by the medical facility. Actually, we'll probably put it back here by the fire department because these all these guys are going to need some coverage on it too. I don't want to take out any loans. The more loans you can avoid, just the better off you're going to do in the long term of the game. Now we almost already have enough money to plop this bad boy down. And congratulations, we are a tiny town. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is probably throw my crime or my police department down and uh, call, call it an episode on this one. I think I'm probably getting close to the time limit. Uh, thanks for watching though. Hope you learned a thing or two. If not, I mean, it's kind of hard in these early stages of the game to really, really do anything extravagant. But as we keep going, I'm sure you'll catch a few, catch a few little hints from here and there, tips that I can throw out to you. But uh, please just give me a follow. Any advice in the comments section? I'm I'm new to the YouTubing, but I'm gonna definitely try to stay on top of it. Keep producing more of these these let's plays if people enjoy it. Um, the microphone, it's going to be replaced soon, and I'm going to do the best I can on that. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw this police department down, and that'll be it. See you next time, everybody.